Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fearless. Uh, first of all, before we even get into what today's episode is about, I want to ask you to please make sure to turn on the notification bell. Other than that, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. And of course, once you do all that, you'll be able to keep up with everything that we are doing here on Fearless, okay? So also, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has been watching the episodes. We have a fantastic season two for you. So stay tuned. We have a lot coming up for you. So today we are, as you can tell, at a farm, right? So this is in an area called Tinganga. I hope I've gotten this right. And it is um, a Maina's farm. Tuwekuja kwa farm ya Maina. And today I am not only facing my fear, I am also going to be learning more about chicken farming. So I think you can already tell what my fear is. And my fear for the longest time has been chicken and you know many people would be like but chicken are everywhere like you walk down the road kuna kuku. you walk whatever there's a chicken every single place but for me every time i see chicken i just run away and this is because when i was younger i think i was probably like you know four years five years if i could remember and i'd gone to my grandmother's house and my grandma had a big turkey right and this turkey ambushed me it bit me it yeah so from there i really just started having a fear of chicken and also the fact that they fly also other than walking like it's one thing to just walk but why do they also have to fly so that is also another thing i just don't get it like it's like you'll tell them shoo and they're all over your face like i don't get that so i think that part also really scared me and also i think again going back to my time in ushago uh, those, you know, different chicken that at that time I didn't know, but they, they were moms. And I didn't know that moms are very protective of their little ones. So, you know, I would go close to them and then they would peck me. So from there, I was really just like, you know what, chicken, they're not a thing for me. I don't understand why they walk and fly at the same time, why they have to, you know, cook, you know. I, I just don't get it. So today we'll learn more about um, chicken farming, if it's profitable, especially during a time where COVID-19 is just every single where, really uh, changing how businesses are working. So we'll learn more about that. And, uh, and at the end of this video, I will finally face my fear, which is chicken. To help us go through this entire day, we have Harrison here with us. Harrison, how are you? Asante sana. I'm fine. Um, to me more about um, this place. Uh, this is Tinganga, my home area. So welcome to my poultry farming. Okay. You are welcome. So who could you do poultry farming? Yeah, we do mostly we do poultry farming. Mm -hmm. and we have a few cows. Yeah, but mostly, mostly poultry. Poultry yeah. farming. Yeah. So now, w you'll see once we get in there, there's like almost 400 chicken, and there's also different places where we'll take you. And there's, in total, up a maish farm, as I said, makuna kukungati? Exactly, we have like uh, 1,500 birds. 1,500 birds, okay. Yeah, yeah. So when you talk about chicken, you have to, you call them birds. Yeah, we call them birds, uh, <laughs> but chicken, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. now once we walk in, first of all, we have to put our legs here. Yeah. Why do we have to do this? Yeah, first, first step, not because of corona, but because of uh, infection. Uh, yeah, we have to start with... So would we infect the birds or would the birds infect us? We can, mostly we can infect the we birds. We can yeah. infect the birds. Uh, or we can transport uh, disease from one place to another. To another. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. So it's, that's why it's important to at least disinfect. Yeah, we so sanitize the, them. Uh, so that our birds are okay. Yeah. In battery cages, in a fanyaga fanya kazia kuku ikue easier to manage uh, disease control. So, Bobo Akunaga waterborne diseases, kuku waga na kunyu amaji apa, and a kuria apa, and afu kuna egg correctioner, aksha taga, maya waga, in a big erika. In a calm apple. And it so falls down. it's very easy to manage the the chicken. Uh, 
Sibubu kama hii, this is 3x, kuonyesha yeah. each bird. Has, has laid an egg. Yeah, yeah has oh, laid an egg. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so how often do they lay eggs? Yeah, these are layers. So when I, what I, what I got, like how many times in a, in a month or in a day, in a week? So a bird, eh? normally kuku anatagaga one egg per day. Yeah, one egg per day. So if kuku moja atagi hapa, utakuta maimbele hapa. Mm. So you can isolate one bird, yeah? Naza isolate one bird, mpaka ujue ni mugani atagi. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so the yeah. one that does, is not laying an egg, what do you do to that, to that one? Nah, because there's layers for business, yeah? That one is the user. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So normally, easy to cook with my eye. All right. Kama itage, haina faida. Yeah. But it's going to faida for other things. We can eat it. You can eat it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You know, you've talked about the laying of the eggs. So I can imagine all these birds here are hens. Yeah, they are hens. Right? There is no cock. There is no cock here. Yeah, they are okay. layers. That's why we call them layers. You know, which is very interesting because mm. I never really understood what, um, a, you know, what you're saying layers are. Mm. So they don't need mm. a cock in order to give us his eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how does that work? So the, 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 the bleed of the, of the chicken, eh? yeah. they are called layers. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. It's just to lay eggs, not uh -huh. for uh, not for fertilized eggs. Yeah. So what they do you give them mm. so that they're able to lay these eggs? The feed that the cons consumer they take, yeah? mm -hmm. they call layers, layers mash. Okay. Yeah. So that naturally just makes um, the hen now lay these eggs. Mm. Wow, that is so interesting. I had no idea. Yeah. So also tell us more about the battery cages because the battery cages I can see have um, the the water feeds. Yeah, battery cages yeah, to make job easier for hardening chicken yeah, because it have a feeding system, water system, and uh, egg correction. Yeah. So here to Naitaga Nepal. Kuku anatumia nipo kukunywa maji, yeah? Once ame guza hapa, waga anakunywa maji hivo, yeah? And uh, inakuwa ga red, di kue attractive kwa macho ya kuku. Maji waga inatoka kwa ma ma main pipe, inaingia kwa system tank, eh? This is the system tank, inakuwa ga na regulator. Kama hile tu system ya cho, eh? So, maji kisha igia kwa system, kuwaga inaji regulator hapa, kukuna volva. Yeah. So, ikisha igia kwa system, pipe system, kukuwaga na kunyue hapa, kwa nipo. So now, how would you say, mm -hmm. okay, out of 10, uneza sema, how profitable here? We were all shocked. Nini ni hiyo ime happen? Maybe mtu wa megongesha kitu huko. That's why kuku waga <laughs> zinastuka. Yeah. Na okay. still very healthy kwa kuku. Kushtuka? Yeah, kuku eh. pato na stress. Really? Yeah, na iki pato na stress. Uh -huh. Ata kwa mayai utaona tu. Either zinataga mayai na kafa ni fani. Really? Ama itagi, yeah. So what stresses a, what stresses a bird? Sana sana. Kama huko ni vile economy imetupereka, mm. huko ni mezike ya mziki. So that sound from outside, eh? Does not affect eh, them? Yeah, it affects them. Lakini ju ya corona na nini na nini, paka... Eh? Sai wa, 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 <laughs> wana kipata pata. Eh. So what kind of music do they like to listen to? Sana samu na kukuzangu uzueke ya country music. Country music? Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So Ikuwe no wonder... <laughs> No wonder when that happened, you could tell they were really, really so shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These birds are so spoiled. Umezi yeah. chunga <laughs> kabisa. Kabisa, kabisa. So now, um, how profitable is poultry farming, right? 
especially mm. for a young person mm. who's probably trying to figure out, okay, what do I do with my life? Poultry farming for the longest time has been, you know, proven to be a very profitable um, way of making money, especially for a young person at this time during COVID-19. Uh, for me, I can see anybody that mtu uh, mwenye yoyote mwenye ako kwa food chain eh una jo lazima watu wakule lazima watu wakunywe kama uko pade ya chakula na imanishi ni kuku skuma ama kitu yoyote uko very safe it's you're very safe you are yes very safe yeah. but even with the competition because i can imagine there's so many other people who have equally as many birds as you have right mm. even with the competition you can still be able mm. um, to make some good money huh? yeah okay for me what i can say about poultry so me who didn't support this sana sana like like now yeah serikali yetu imeangalia mkulima wa kuku sana kwa sababu hii hatuwezi teta Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Pesa. Hakuna pesa. Uh -huh. Hakuna pesa. Kwa saa hii, okay. serikali yetu ishikirie hapo. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Profit ya mayai inaenda kuwa juu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now... Juu ni mm -hmm. CS mwenye tumenaitewa munya. Yeah, yeah. Fono watuwezi teta. You uwezi teta. So CS teta. munya anafanya kazi mzuri. Ah, kazi mzuri. Mefurai kazi na CS mzuri. munya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kabisa, kabisa. All right. Which, yeah. is, which is good. Mm. So now you make of course profit from the eggs. Mm. What else are you making profit from? Um, the, the meat? Uh, let us Ama. say. Kwa, kwa hii kuku. Kuku inakuanga. Mayai kitu ya kwanza. Manyua. Yeah. So even that's profitable. Yeah. Okay. And when it me it me it me taga it me mariza kutaga na itago X layer. Mm -hmm. X layer ina unayuza na yada kukuwa kukuya nyama. So right. kukuwa inaga ati anything na potel. Okay. Ni manyo yatu. Adam thinking about how can I uh, even make money from them uh, from, from the manyo yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is good because I mean right now mm. uh, we have to really find so many different ways of making profit with yeah. every single thing that we have yeah. you know mm. um, you never know maybe these feathers are yummy mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you grind them or maybe they're medicinal yeah. you never know yeah. so what's the difference um, which is something I've never really understood what is the a big difference between the Kenyaji chicken and the broiler chicken uh, there's a big uh, difference so bo, kama mimi upeda kuku na upeda kukana kuku ya for kama wewe unapeda broilers ni pesa ya haraka haraka mm -hmm. but long term layers so bo, hii nataga wana davia 2 years kulingana na ile nini ume yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is easier to uh, the the Kenyaji long term if um, yeah, yeah, long -term profit business business makes more sense yeah. than the broiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm. so Kenyaji does the meat taste different as compared to the broiler meat? Yeah, kabisa, kabisa. Kenyaji, which one is more preferred by your customers? Uh, same per day pesa, or Kenyaji kona do. Okay. Kenyaji kona pesa mingi. Uh, kushida broiler. So broiler kama like now market penye inachezea eh, eh, kenyeji inaweza igonga mara tatu. Wow. Mm. All right. So yeah. clearly poultry farming is still a mm. very very profitable business and for anyone who would want to now get into poultry farming mm. what do you need? Cuz oh. clearly mimi mm. nikifikiria kwanza I won't have all this yeah, right yeah. so if i'm a aspiring poultry mm. farmer what do i need to have yeah uh, for small scale farmers eh? there is a small scale farmers there is our advice who are here from somewhere yeah even two birds tomorrow three birds right the, yeah so where, where do we get the birds though because i'm actually thinking uh, about this business in kenya <laughs> there are many suppliers for birds mm -hmm. The common one, can chick, yeah. Okay, so you get the bird and then now you can rear them, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But do you necessarily have to have a farm to rear no, the, no, no. The, the birds? Like, uh, even plot, even a plot, huh? mm -hmm. not a big farm, depending with, the, with, the, with your business. Huh? Right. Kurigana biyasha yenye unataa kueka, kusawo mkuri mamdogo, unaitaji tu, like, this one, 28 birds, mm -hmm. from here to here. 
Oh, that's just 128, 128 baht. 128 baht, yeah. Okay, okay, You see, okay. you will need just a small, small portion mm -hmm. of land. What is the expenditure? Like, what is the day-to-day -day cost of mm. keeping a chicken? Is it expensive? Yeah, cook on a jitagemea, it depends on the mfuko yako. Same ukianza for the... Kwa muda kama wa, wa miezi tatu dia anze ku ray eggs, yeah? Hapo dia uta strain kidogo. But okay. ikisha anza kutaga mwai, sasa anajipea chakula, anajipea maji. Hile nisa chinafanya, ni kidogo tu, but on my farm, yeah? Nita kuna uu kuku wakikula chakula ya layers, mm. penye anayizafanya. Niki compare na zile chakula wanakulanga, mm -hmm. Nione kama kuna difference. So even one shilling, especially in time of COVID, eh? it's very important. It's huh? very important. Nione mm -hmm. akikura chakura ya layers, kama atani bakshia one bob, ama two bob, ama atani, atani cost. But because si wengi, that's why nimesema wako... So I'll go, I'll go under yeah, serious yeah. scrutiny. Eh? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So now um, we have gotten to know more about uh, poultry farming. And of course, we're going to leave his details so that just in case you may want to know more about poultry farming, yeah. if you may also want to have someone to make for you this um, battery cages, mm. um, he can also do that for you. Mm. So now today's fearless challenge. Mm. Tracy gets to hold a chicken for the very first time. Mm. In forever okay so that is what we're gonna do today and hopefully my fear of chicken will be gone after today mtu akitaji hizi cages uwanga nafanya installation na kuuzia na nafanya installation like this one near 128 baht nita peana details zangu kama unataka kuwazabia shara kama hii usi strain sana Na iza kuja ni kueke cages, ni kuzia cages, na ni kuja ni kufanyie installation, with free installation. Step one of holding a chicken, Aji, sasa, guide, guide me. Uh, step ya kwanza, uh. seme kuku, ameka hivi. Uh -huh. Una mshika mabawa. Una mshika mabawa. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So you nash katu apo kwa mabawa? Okay. Uh -uh, goja, goja, goja. Just shake that up. So um domo iko inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayez ni ka ayezi rudy but you do much uh cook in our ground. Eh? Okay. So cook up in the tongue if you see it. So I'm gonna go around. Goja, is she killing Kwanza? Yes, hold it. Gojan, 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 gojan. I didn't expect that texture. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Just once and for all, like that, your fear is. Okay. Yeah. Lakini mshikilie kwanza. Yeah. One, two. Ngoja usimwachilie. Uh, <laughs> Mpaka ni mshike kabisa. Sawa. Sisi mshike na mkono mbili. One, one hand it's okay. Ngoja 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 Harrison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fear is <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, you guys, I've actually never held a chicken like this in my life. I'm not even joking. Mm. Like, I'm sure even my show show and my mom, when they see this video, they're going to be so proud of me because I've never held a chicken like this in my entire life. <laughs> okay, okay. Go, John, go, John. Ah, okay. Ah, so. How do I put it down? Ah, uh -uh, this one. Uh -uh. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So I faced my fear finally of holding a chicken. Would I do that by myself? I don't think I would do that by myself. I would want to also have someone, you know, be there just in case it decides to flap its bur its 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 um its wings. But honestly, it's it's not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as holding a, a snake, to be honest with you, because we did that in the first season, and um, this is much easier, to be honest. But 
it was a fear of mine and I think you know I really just had to get over it and thank you so much Harrison yeah. for taking me through today's fearless challenge yeah. and even other than that telling us more about poultry farming um, how profitable it can be other than that just knowing more about birds in general so thank you so much I will make sure to put his number in the description box um, where you can find him where you can find this farm just in case you'd like to come here as well um, so that you can learn more and also see how you can also make some money for yourself Harrison thank you so much thank you for watching this video remember again please subscribe make sure to like make sure to also turn the notification bell so that you can always always stay abreast of what's happening right here on fearless so fearless channel Challenge done. We've gotten to know more about poultry farming. I am so excited. Uh, yeah, you're late. <laughs> <laughs>